Frogs, newts, salamanders, and other amphibians are frequently included in the reptile hobby. However, which ones are the worst, and which ones make for better alternatives? We're discussing the drab tree frog today, or is it the white, green, or blue tree frog? Keep watching to learn more. Found in warmer jungles and woodlands. Thanks to their adorable eyes, special legs, and toes that enable them to quickly climb trees, white tree frogs are among the world's most whimsical amphibians. Unlike their somewhat dumpy terrestrial counterparts, these frogs generally have bright colors that make them a favorite zoo exhibit. Their distinctive calls often make them heard and not seen in their native habitat as they are primarily active at night. Although these frogs live mostly in tropical climates, some species live in more temperate areas and hibernate during the winter. Is it white, green or blue tree frog? In Europe, these frogs were historically seen as barometers because they would respond to approaching rain by barking. Most of these frog species can change color, sometimes due to their mood, as their skin can range in hues of green, gray, brown and yellow. White's tree frogs have a strong sense of hearing and can sense vibrations through the ground. Red-eyed tree frogs are considered to be the ambassadors of these frog species because of their strikingly vivid eyes. These frogs have an additional eyelid that veils their eyes. They also blink when swallowing to force down their prey. Impression The most distinguishing feature of these frogs is their feet, as the last bone in their toes is claw-shaped. Toe pads with tiny suction cups and extraskeletal structures on their toes also help them climb trees. They come in a variety of colors, most commonly green, gray, or brown. Because of the primarily arboreal habitat that finds them living on leaves and small branches, most of these frogs are small in size. The largest of these frogs in the world are the white-lipped tree frogs found in Australia and Oceania, ranging from 10.16 cm to 13.9 cm long. The largest species in the Western Hemisphere is the Cuban tree frog, found in the Caribbean and the southeastern United States, with a length of 8.6 to 32.2 cm. The smallest species are less than 2.5 cm in length, the size of many of these frogs can be likened to a teacup. They are typically more slender than terrestrial frogs. As one of the most striking members of the Helaidae family, red-eyed tree frogs may have developed their bright eyes, in part, so that predators may question their meal choice and go for a more dumpy prey. Another adaptation, called startle coloration, allows red-eyed tree frogs to flash their bulging eyes and reveal webbed orange feet and their bright blue and yellow flanks, often causing birds and snakes to stop and give time for the frog to flee. Their bright green color may also overstimulate predators' eyes by creating a confusing ghost image. American green tree frogs are a bright green, which helps them camouflage with surrounding foliage in the wild. They have a light white or cream-colored stripe from the side of the head down to their flanks. White's tree frogs encase their bodies in a milky white coating called carvine that helps them survive in dry areas by conserving body moisture. Scientists have used extracts from their skin for medicines that fight Staphylococcus bacteria, lower blood pressure, and treat cold sores caused by the herpes virus. One of the more dumpy looking species, the Cuban frog, is brown and somewhat bland in appearance. It is one of the larger types of frogs, with some growing to more than 15.2 centimeters. Females are generally larger than males. Behavior. Most species are nocturnal and solitary, but will gather in large groups during mating season. Many spend their days sleeping on leaves and branches. In hot summer months, White's tree frogs often go looking for water in people's homes. When threatened, they emit an ear-piercing scream. Green tree frogs use a variety of barking calls for communication. 
adults will frequently camouflage themselves in vegetation by tucking in their legs and closing their eyes. Habitat. These frogs live on every continent except Antarctica, with the highest concentration in Central and South America, where you will find about 600 species. About 30 species live in the warmer regions of the southeastern United States. Most, but not all, species are arboreal, which is why they have long legs and toe pads to help them climb and jump. Non-arboreal species live in lakes and ponds or among moist ground cover. Red-eyed frogs live in tropical lowlands from southern Mexico, through Central America and into northern South America. They are nocturnal, hiding in the rainforest canopy. An adaptable species called White's tree frogs live in Australia and New Guinea. They prefer moist forests and typically do not live near bodies of water, collecting rainwater that collects on leaves and in cup-shaped plants and crevices. This species adaptability allows them to live in suburban and agricultural areas with people and is commonly found in bathrooms, water tanks and reservoirs. Diet Like other amphibians, these frogs are carnivores, eating insects like crickets and flies, worms, spiders, moths and other invertebrates. The large Cuban frog will eat anything that will fit in its mouth, including lizards, snakes, small mammals, and even other frogs. These frogs ambush their unsuspecting prey with their long, sticky tongues. Predators and threats. Predators include a variety of mammals, reptiles, birds, and even some large fish, mainly due to the frog's small size. The official conservation status of these frogs is stated as least concern because of their wide distribution and assumed large population. Nevertheless, these frogs experience threats to their overall population, including habitat destruction by humans, pollution, climate change and disease. Habitat destruction is a concern in Europe, although conservation efforts in several European countries have successfully rebuilt some tree frog habitats. Reproduction and lifespan. The males of almost every species attract mates via barking calls, with each tree frog type having its unique call. Some hatch as miniature adults, but more commonly, these frogs hatch as tadpoles that develop into adults. Females lay eggs on leaves above water, allowing hatched tadpoles to drop into the water to develop. The metamorphosis from tadpole to adult can take a few weeks to a few months. White's tree frogs begin to reproduce in their second year and often feast for several days before mating. Males develop a black pad on their thumbs to help grip females during mating. Clutch size varies according to species and can contain 150 to 1,000 eggs, with hatching beginning about 28 to 36 hours after laying. Lifespan varies among species, with some living less than three years. Grey tree frogs in North America live about five years, while the Australian tree frog can live as long as 15 years in captivity. White's tree frogs generally live about 16 years, and have lived as long as 21 years in captivity. Population. Scientists have no real estimation of the worldwide population of these frogs, as they are widespread and are not endangered. However, their populations are thought to be declining as humans continue to encroach on their habitats. In the zoo. The Smithsonian National Zoo in Washington, D.C. keeps red-eyed tree frogs along with White's tree frog. Both species receive a diet of crickets, cockroaches and worms. The best time to see these frogs in the zoo is in the early morning and late afternoon. They are primarily nocturnal creatures, so most of the time, visitors will see them sleeping on top of green leaves in their exhibit. You'll have to look carefully though, as these frogs tend to blend in with their environment. Predators of tree frogs include birds, mammals, and reptiles. 
That's all for now, folks. See you next time.